In this equation, we have calcium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. This is a double displacement reaction. The calcium and the sodium, they're going to switch places. And when we have double displacement reactions, often we can use a trick to make it a lot easier to balance. So let's count the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. One calcium, and then this NO3. We have the nitrate ion here, and then we have a nitrate ion here. So since we have it on both sides, we're just going to consider it one item. So we have one nitrate times the two two nitrate ions, one sodium, and this OH here, that's the hydroxide ion. We have it here and we have it here. So we just say we have one hydroxide ion. Now on this side of the equation, we have one calcium, one nitrate, one sodium, and then one hydroxide times two, so two of those. So it's a lot neater and it's a lot easier to work with to balance the equation. Because now we can see we could put a two in front of the sodium nitrate, the NaNO3, We'd have one nitrate times two, so those would be balanced. And then we'd have one sodium times two, we'd have two sodium atoms. On the reactant side, we could balance the sodiums. We could put a two as our coefficient in front of the NaOH, so we have one times two. So we balance the sodium atoms, one hydroxide times two. We have two of those, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of considering this just to be one item if it appears on both sides of the equation. It's a lot neater, a lot easier, and you're probably going to be more accurate. Either way, you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaNO32 plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.